Throughout the Tony Hawk games, there have been goats placed around all the games. Well, not all of them. It started with Pro Skater 4. Since then, it's been in every game. Every Neversoft game from Pro Skater 4 and onwards has had a goat. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys all the goats. In Pro Skater 4, there are two goats, and they're all in the level Carnival. It's a bonus level you can lock for, I think, $15,000. I may be way off because I haven't played that game in a bit, even though I just 100% it like a couple weeks ago. But, you know, there's a white van. You can go and purchase the level. Once you got the level, you can head into that level, and I'm saying a lot of level. But if you go to the right, when you spawn, there's a goat. And this is Billy's goat, as he has a gap. But if you make it to the carnival games, next to that spinner, next to the little thing with the hammer or whatever, once you go behind the little basketball area, there's a guy standing behind a goat. And this is a key feature for the goats that come in the future. A lot of them stem from this exact goat, where it's behind a goat, or it's standing next to a goat, or something along those lines. In Underground, in the level Tampa, if you go behind the strip club, there's a goat and another guy standing behind it. I love this level personally, it's one of my favorites. I keep on forgetting there's the goat there every time. I don't know how I keep on forgetting, but every time that I go behind there, I'm always surprised. I'm like, oh, there's a goat. It's a nice surprise. I find it quite funny that there's people standing behind goats. This is great comedy from Neversoft. I mean, they've always got great humor in their games, but this really takes the cake. In the sequel of Underground, Underground 2, in the level Boston, the first level that's not training the actual first level there is this level little area to the right of the map there's some ramps if you do a boneless and then get you off your board and go into this glass you'll go into a room there's this little kid doing dance but if you go to the other room there's some goats not some goats there's one singular goat and there's a guy standing right next to a goat that's on a chair this one i was always aware of i was always going up to that kid that was dancing around with a stick and all of that and i would always end up to, to the wrong one like oh Oops, this is the one with the goat. But obviously, as a child, I didn't understand what was going on. So, it didn't bother me. In American Wasteland, my personal favorite Tony Hawk game ever. In the first level, Hollywood, there's this little building that you can spine transfer onto the roof of, and there's some rails. If you grind a rail, and then you stick or slap the wall and go up higher. If you jump off your board and go into this cracked wall, you can end up breaking the wall and going into this little secret room. This one is, in my opinion, the most secret one. It's, it's tucked away. There's a goat in there, it's on a bed, and there's a construction room worker right behind him. This one, it's like dead on of what it's supposed to be. Even still, I didn't understand it as a child. In the Xbox 360 PS3 version of Project 8, you can find a goat in the level Credit Park. Okay, this is my problem. I say Credit Park. I've said it all my life. I only recently found out that it's Crete Park. I don't know if I'm just the dumbest person ever, but I, I always thought it was Credit Park. On the level Creep Park, in classic mode, you can find a goat inside of a porta potty. There's a goal where you have to wall plant some porta potties and break them. In one of them, you can find a goat. I feel like this is the most tucked away, but I feel like the Hollywood one is a bit more hidden. I mean, this isn't a goal, it's in a specific goal in a specific porta potty, but like, it may just be me biased on the Hollywood one since it's my favorite Tony Hawk and I just happen to love that level so much. I don't know, but this one is also really insane. The Xbox 360 PS3 version of Proving Ground, if you go on the Harbor Bridge and you go into this little tunnel, you get into this little intersection kind of thing. You can load into uh, three different maps. Inside of here, there's a goat. And there's these hobos dancing around, cheering on this goat, looking at its ass as usual. Kind of a classic. Classic in my books. Now this is it for the actual goats, but there's some more things that have to do with goats in the games. In the Project 8 strategy guide, there is a mention of Bee Goat, which Bee Goat is a glitching clan, which they were really good at glitching the game. They were the best at it. They found most of the glitches in the games. They were insanely good at finding them. Bee Goat, caught the attention of Neversoft, in particular, Alan Flores. I don't know what other Neversoft devs knew of Bego, but I know Alan Flores does because my friend Biz, he's a part of Bego. He messaged Alan and Alan responded with this. One more thing. Almost every year we would check the Bee Goat database right after the game came out to see who would get the first Bee Goat entry. Sort of like a badge of honor. It was fun stuff. To me, that is insane. I mean, I know Neversoft, they're normal dudes as well. But for Biz to get an answer back from a Neversoft dev is insane to me. That might be one of the coolest things I have seen a Tony Hawk player do. In Project 8, to get that out of bounds message of no goats allowed, you have to go up to this pool. Before it's unlocked, you try to wedge yourself with a kicker that you place down and try to wedge, your, wedge yourself into the fence. I mean, I'm sure there's other areas you can get this message, but, but this is an area that you can do it pretty well, or it's consistent. So yeah, that's all of them. There might be some in like 
Project 8 last gen, same with Proving Ground or Downhill Jam, maybe? I'm not gonna try though, because I doubt they're there, because those games are developed by different companies. Downhill Jam is made by Toys for Bob, while the last gen versions of Project 8 and Proving Ground were made by Shaba Games. Now, Shaba did make some pretty good level design ports to the PlayStation 2 games, but I just doubt I'm gonna find any goats there, so I'm not even gonna try. If there is one in those games, message me or just like comment it down below because I personally am not gonna try. I know it's a video that's like, they're not by, they're not made by uh, Neversoft. There's no Alan. So yeah, that's about it. My name is Vex. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please go down to the comments and tell Viz thank you for all these tips on these goats and stuff, telling me what I did and didn't get right. And this dude has been so much help. Yes, he's in B-Goat, so he knows all these things, but he's, he's just a good friend, so I appreciate him a lot. Like, subscribe, maybe even watch some other videos. Maybe some Warehouse in Every Tony Hawk, Secret Spots in Tony Hawk. One of those videos, pretty good. And that's about it. My name is Vex. Stay goaded.